Hey, there you are. Hey, hey, I've been waiting for you. Listen, could you do me a favor and just uh, just open that door for me? There's no handle in here. Could you just open it up? Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Great, 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 great. Good, good, good. Hey, hi. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have like a, a paper clip or a bobby pin, something like that, would you? I, you have a handcuff key? Why do you have a handcuff key? I don't care. Just give it to me. Here, I'll take it. Take it. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, okay, great. This is going to be perfect. <laughs> we are going to have such a great time this episode, but we really got to get going, like, immediately. So, come on. Let's go. WeatherTech Raceway Park at Laguna Seca. A strangely long name, but I'm just going to call it Laguna Seca. Laguna, of course, Spanish for legume, uh, which is a small edible seed or pod, and Seca, as we all know, Spanish for sexy. My high school Spanish might be telling me that that's wrong, so I'm going to put the correct translation right here. This beautiful race park has a rich history. It was built in 1957. It's 2.238 miles long. That's 3.6 kilometers. It uh, has 11 turns, 180 feet of elevation change, and it's highlighted by its signature downhill plunging corkscrew turn on turns 8 and 8A. It's hosted uh, race tracks, it's hosted motorcycle races, it's hosted concerts. Pope John Paul II spoke here. He delivered mass to seven 72,000 people and he angered all the Italians at the end of mass he rode the track in a Honda CBR. <laughs> I'm kidding. He handed out some holy water to everyone and we all know how you get holy water. You take regular water and you boil the hell out of it. Probably one of the coolest things in 1959 Steve McQueen raced on this racetrack in a gray lotus. I cannot believe we are riding on the same racetrack as Steve McQueen. This is going to be great. I can't wait to share it with you. Come on let's saddle up and go. segment here on My Life is a Highway, Track Talk. You guys going super fast. Track Talk. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jesse Carter with Kegels at the Track. Uh, me and my wife are the operations managers. Uh, we run the show here from riders meetings to registration to everything that you need throughout the day. We're the ones you come to for it. The realization of what your bike is actually capable of because uh, then once you get to that realization you're like oh maybe I shouldn't ride it on the street maybe I should stick to the track because that's really what it's for if you just come and you hung out by yourself all day and you didn't go talk to anybody you didn't bullshit anybody that you're hanging out with um, then you missed a huge part of the experience everybody here they're all motorcycle riders they're all so happy they're all so friendly and when they get off the track they got these huge smiles on their faces and that's when you want to be hanging out with people just everybody is just like on cloud nine here so if you miss all of that that, then you're missing a big experience of it too. And we also do schools which are, are totally separate where we focus on it. We have a lot smaller groups, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, 45 minute sessions. So you get to work on stuff on track, come off for a few minutes, talk about it, go back out on track. If it's your first time, 
you can come to any track day. It started the novice group and we'll, we'll help you out from there. There's, there's no potholes, oil patches, dirt on the, on the track and stuff like that. It's all controlled. Out here, there's room for mistakes. You make an error, you're gonna go off in the pea gravel, you might low side and slide out, but here we make sure you have all your protective gear on and the runoffs are clear. There's an ambulance always safe by if you do get hurt. If you just think of it as an investment in yourself, the leaps and bounds in your riding that you'll make from coming to the track instead of just riding on the street. You can come to one of our schools or one of our track days and in two days you will be doing circles around your buddies in the canyons from what you learn about on the track. And each time as you get more comfortable, it's just that confidence builds. And that could be really what saves your life on the street. It really is so much safer place to come ride. Please think about it, grab your bike, come on down and join us. If there's anything you need to make it happen, contact us. Uh, we'll make it happen for you. Visit us at uh, kegwins.com and uh, look forward to seeing you there. Well, Laguna Seca, huh? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? You know, I know that the uh, weather didn't totally cooperate, but boy, I'll tell you, that sure was an amazing experience. That track is something else. I hope you had as much fun as I did. You know, one of the great things that I love about travel is it's not just the travel that's great, but it's the shared experiences of spaces and places. When I was at Laguna Seca, I was thinking about the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who've got to experience that track, either as a spectator or as a racer, and now we're part of that story. And that's what I love about travel. I just love that. I love it. Um, we are supposed to go to some other travel places along that tour as well. We were going to go to Thunder Hill in Oregon Raceway Park. The weather did not cooperate at all. Those episodes are shot. I'm going to edit those now and hopefully we'll have those uh, up on the site soon. I want to thank you so much for watching this channel. As of this taping, there are 659 subscribers from all over the world. And I love that you're all watching. Thank you so much. And um, this is the part of the video where I ask you to like, subscribe, share if you really enjoy these. If you're going to subscribe and like, you're going to do it without me asking you. But I'm asking you anyway. So please, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you out on the highway. Nice, right?